What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video and yes as you guys read by the title a 64-bit downgrade tool is finally here for iOS devices. This is actually a huge deal. This literally means that you can now downgrade your iPhone 6s or your iPhone 6s plus back down to iOS 9 and experience that smooth operating system that I'm sure we all love. Now this video here is going to be mostly informative. Um, I'm not going to be doing the tutorial in today's video but I just want to go over what this tool is, how it works and what devices are supported, all of that awesome stuff. I'm actually waiting for my iPhone SE first generation to arrive in the mail. It should be coming tomorrow so hopefully I'll have that video going up very very soon on this channel um, but I'm not going to be downgrading this phone here because it's natively running iOS 9. And I do not want to update this phone. So we're going to keep this phone as it is, but essentially this tool here, this is called Turtis Marula. This is what essentially makes the entire downgrade um, and it's based on a very important exploit. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in 2021, when I first started this channel, I made a video on a 64-bit downgrade tool that was in the works. This is exactly what I was talking about and it's finally here four years later. It took a pretty long time, but hey, some great things do take time and this is definitely one of them. This this basically means that you can now untether downgrade or tether downgrade depending on whether you have SH, SH blobs or not down to whichever iOS version you want and I know you guys got to absolutely check out iOS 9 on the iPhone 6s. It is like one of the best operating systems to run. Um, but yeah, this thing here is called Turtis Marula. It's pretty much Latin for Blackbird. The reason why it's called Blackbird is because this was actually an exploit that was found a few years back. I want to say like 2020, 2021 um, and essentially the way that Blackbird works is it pretty much exploits the chip in the iPhone that holds all your sensitive data. So you guys know how like an iPhone 6s Plus has like an A9 chip. It also has a second chip which is called your SEP. That stands for Secure Enclave Processor and this secondary chip holds all your sensitive data like your Touch ID information, I believe all your passwords and stuff. It's all encrypted which makes it so much harder for you to access because number one it's a second chip and number two there has never really been an exploit for something like this before. Until of course the SEP exploit which was found by developers uh, back in like 2020 I believe and they basically took this in conjunction with the checkmate exploit this was a completely different exploit that came out I think in 2019 I know it's a little confusing but essentially they put two and two together and they were able to successfully downgrade 64-bit devices without the need of having SH, SH blobs and it also downgraded SCP as well. So this way you were able to downgrade from like iOS 15 down to iOS 9 for the iPhone 6s, which is huge because traditionally this would not be possible even if you had SH, SH blobs. And the reason why is because before this tool existed, you'd have to use things like Future Restore. But the problem with Future Restore is it's going to need a compatible SCP in order to downgrade. But now that there's an actual exploit, it's going to be a lot more easier to downgrade to pretty much any older version as long as it's supported. So hopefully it's not too confusing. Essentially what this means for you guys is regardless of what iOS version your iPhone 6s or iPhone 7 is running, you can downgrade it. Now, whether or not it's tethered is going to depend on if you have SH, SH blobs. In like 99% of the cases, you probably won't have these blobs. So in this case, you'll need to do a tethered downgrade, which I'll be making um, on this channel. I'll make a video about that very, very soon. So that's going to be coming out hopefully in the next couple weeks. But I did want to quickly show you guys the website here, scp.lol. This has all the information you guys need about Turtis Marula. And there's actually a lot of other tutorials out there already as well. If you guys want to try it out or if you guys already have the devices that you need. Um, so feel free to check that out. But I did want to mention here that based on what I'm seeing on this website, it says until a feature update fixes the issue, you have to restore to iOS 10.3.3 first before downgrading to your target version. So it sounds like even if you have an iPhone 6S, it's gonna be recommended that you go first from whatever iOS you're on to iOS 10 and then go from iOS 10 to iOS 9. But I'm gonna be experimenting with this in my own time and hopefully I'll have a video up for you guys if you guys wanna attempt this tutorial. But this is huge guys. Um, I just wanna first of all say a huge thank you to all the developers, um, all the people behind this project. A special thank you to Clarity, to Kokeshi Doll and Monique. I really hope I'm not uh, mispronouncing those names, but seriously, y'all have like created something really cool and this is something that I'm like really, really looking forward to. And of course, a huge thanks to all the other developers on here as well. Um, this is huge. I'm, I'm really excited for this. And I think this is absolutely the right direction in um, sort of bringing back functionality to our old iOS devices. So I'm really, really excited to check this out. Now, one thing I did want to mention, by the way, is that iOS 9 does have a very weird activation bug 
in which you can't activate A9 devices. Um, I don't think this affects every single A9 device. Like in my case, my iPhone 6s Plus has never really had any issues with activating. I've always been able to activate it, but honestly, I don't want to take a risk just in case it stops activating. Um, but yeah, that's something you guys need to be aware of that's specific just to A9 devices. Um, there's a way to fix it. I just don't know if I can talk about it on this channel, but you know, I'll sort of let you guys handle that. But if you guys do run into any activation issues, just be aware that the phone might not activate. Um, I will say though, um, I'm not sure how much detail I can go into this in this video, but I have been in contact with an engineer at Apple who is aware of this issue. They actually watched one of my videos. I can't say too much, but essentially they have some files for my phone and they're going to do some investigations on their end and they're going to go ahead and see, um, you know, what can possibly be causing this iOS 9 activation issue. Um, but besides that, like, I, I don't know how much more I can talk about publicly, but I just want to let you guys know that like Apple does know about this issue and you know there is at least someone on their team who's looking into this um, but I guess it's a matter of time before we figure out if they're gonna end up fixing it which I highly doubt but I think it's kind of cool that someone actually watched the video that I made um, but yeah let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comment section below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will be making that video on the iPhone SE first gen the downgrade tutorial very very soon so I'm very excited for that but anyways I will catch you guys on the next one peace